All right, folks, that was on MSNBC on Sunday with former San Antonio Mayor Julian Castro. Also, Republican Michael Steele was guest hosting on MSNBC. And we we're talking about the shooting that took place in Allen, Texas, that left seven people dead, eight people wounded. Uh, and uh, this is what I had to say. After a mass shooting like this, lawmakers in the state where it happened would take stock and work on policy changes uh, to the secretary's point to prevent it from happening again. But that's not what happens in Texas. Wh no. What do we do here? How do we break this this cycle? I mean, every I mean, it's not like every two weeks, my friend. It's like every other day we're having these stories now about mass shootings. The only way to change any of this is to completely wipe out the Republican Party. Somebody has to say it. Greg Abbott, the governor, is sick and demented. He has literally done nothing. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, the leadership, uh, Republican leadership in the state, they literally have done nothing. They have ignored the Uvalde parents. I was at the Texas Capitol uh, a few months ago uh, where they were rallying there. They are not going to do anything. But here's also what has to happen. People of conscience are going to have to stop sitting at home and saying, oh, we want something done. In the last election, 75 percent of all Texans under the age of 30 did not vote. And so the only way to change this is to move these people out of office. There is no other way. And so, yes, we've seen what they've done when it comes to voter suppression. They want to remove voting locations from college campuses. But the way to counter this, you have to take these people out of office and put in people who are going to pass the laws. That is the only way, because it is clear they are not going to change the laws because they are in, so in love with guns and so in love with the Second Amendment crowd, they do not care to see bodies piled up on the sidewalk. All right, folks. So uh, the folks at Project 21, group of uh, minority conservatives, ooh, they were a little upset, y'all. They were caught their feelings. And so Craig Deluz, this is what he writes. The problem is not guns. It's the zero bail, sanctuary city, and defund the police liberal policies that have progressively made our streets less and less safe. As social justice warriors like Roland Martin continue to advocate for criminals of color, they ignore the fact that overwhelmingly their victims also happen to be people of color. He clearly cares more about violent criminals than he does their victims. Um, has he been drug tested? Because the segment we were discussing the shooting in Allen, Texas. I don't recall one time where I was advocating for the shooter. A white Hispanic who also is a white supremacist neo-Nazi. Let's read the next one. Melanie Collette, she goes, Roland Martin's incendiary comments are air fuel to an already divisive rift between the left and the right. The left is quick to call out its version of hateful rhetoric, rhetoric when a pundit on the right dares to disagree with progressive viewpoints. Meanwhile, media outlets like MSNBC overlook potentially violent language coming from liberal pundits like Roland Martin, like Martin proving just how intolerant the party of tolerance can often be. Really? That's interesting. Melanie, where are your statements against some of the most ridiculous stuff we've heard on Fox News. <sighs> oh, you haven't done any of those because you're trying to get booked on Fox News. All right, here's David Lowry, Jr. He goes, after decades of leftist leadership, black communities continue to suffer from uncontrolled crime and economic woes while progressives clamor for more devastation to black communities coming through, through, through unfettered abortion. Instead of calling for violence in their mission to destroy conservative thought, Roland Martin and his ilk should be looking to, for ways to improve the quality of life in black and brown communities. Martin is an embarrassment and nothing more than a puppet for the left. So David Lowry Jr. joins me right now from Chicago. David, question for you. A uh, discussion I had on MSNBC on Sunday, um, was, this, was the topic abortion? The topic yes, or, was yes or no? Uh, the topic was about mass shootings. No, 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 no. The topic was a specific mass shooting in Allen, Texas. Roland, uh, we both from Chicago. No, actually, I'm not from Chicago. I'm from Houston. No, no, hold up. Let me, let me help you. David, hold on. David, David, hold on. David, I'll let you talk. David, hold on. David, David, David. David, David hold on a second. I'm not from Chicago. I am born and raised in Houston, Texas. I lived in Chicago for six years. Now you can continue. Okay, so... You and I know that the real problem here with the shooting, it is not the guns. 
It's the people that get the guns that cause these crimes. How do you get them? It, it, it's the left. It's the left that bring these guns in the community. Let me just these guns get into the community, whether it's left or right. How, how, did, how did the shooter... Hold up. The discussion was regarding Allen, Texas. Here's the first question. Have you ever been to Allen, Texas? No, I have never been to Allen, Texas. I have. I've, I've been I've to been, that... No, one second. Hold up. But, but, hold, no, but, no, but, David, David, David. Uh, I'm going to let hold, you talk, hold, but I, I, I got to establish a foundation of things first. Okay. One. Then let me, hold up, David, it. David, one second. I'm going to let you talk. Have you <laughs> been to Allen, Texas, yes or no? I said no. Okay. I've been to Allen, Texas. I've actually been to that particular mall. What do you know what the racial makeup of Allen, Texas is? Roland, that doesn't matter. No, no, no. Uh, David, I'm asking a question. Do no, you know yes or no? You, you don't want to get to the point. David, David, I'm getting to the point. I'm asking you a specific question because the discussion on MSNBC was about the shooting in Allen, Texas. David. Do you know the racial makeup of Allen, Texas? I told you I haven't been there. The makeup... No, no, no. You don't have to be there to know the racial makeup. Allen, Texas is 61.5% white. Two, we now know that the shooter, the actual shooter, was a white supremacist and a neo-Nazi. How was he a leftist or a liberal? Let me say this, Roland. First of all, the problem that we have in here is that the American people really do not understand the difference between these two, the conservatives and the liberals. David, I asked you a specific question regarding but, but, the shooter. Let me, let me, David, let me, David, let me, David, can you me, answer about the I'm shooter? Gonna the I'm going to answer the question about the shooter, but let me lay the foundation. <laughs> Just like you did. This whole thing is about gun control. This whole thing is about the Second Amendment. The left always want to try to control everybody in the... David, can you answer the question about the shooter? Let me... No, 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 no. You're now trying to go somewhere else. David, was the shooter a Latino male who also was a white supremacist and a neo-Nazi? Yes or no? Let, let, me, let me finish. Let me finish. I'm laying the foundation. David, David, it's either yes or no. It's not laying a foundation. Either he was or he wasn't. Listen, listen. So, so anytime, anytime a shooting like this come up, and you want to say, well, there was a shooting with a trans transgender. No, David. Uh, no, David. I'm specifically uh, talking about a shooting in uh, Allen, Texas. Can uh, you answer my question? You want to go? You want to go somewhere else? Can you answer my question about the shooting in Allen, Texas? But I'm trying to get the American people to see this: the politicians, the left and the right, is one bird. And they all is one bird, the left wing and the right wing. So it doesn't matter. David, are you going to answer the question? Was the shooter in Allen, Texas, was he a white supremacist and a neo-Nazi, a Latino? Yes or no? There's nothing proven. Answer the question, David. Yes or no? We don't know. Yes, we, we do know. know. I'm sorry. Did he say he David, was? they literally have uncovered Evidence. This man has tattoos on his body. White supremacist, neo-Nazi tattoos. You haven't seen that? Just because he was a white supremacist, he still was a shooter, just like all the other shooters who used the weapon, who now the left is trying to shut down the Second Amendment. Let me ask you a question, David. After Uvalde in Texas... David, I'm going to ask you a question, David. After the shooting of you in... David, David... There was a shooting in Uvalde, Texas. The shooting in Uvalde, Texas. The parents, David, 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 David. Here's the David. Here's the deal. You can sit here and run off and do everything else. I am asking extremely specific questions. What I would like is an answer to the question, not you trying to filibuster something else. There was a shoot, David. David, I'm asking a question. David, David. David, there was a shooting in Uvalde, Texas. After the shooting in Uvalde, Texas, the parents in Uvalde demanded Texas Governor Greg Abbott, D Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, to do something about gun control. They all, Greg Abbott then said the problem isn't the guns, the problem is mental illness. David, no, they, hold up. David, fact, yes or no? Did Texas Governor Greg Abbott cut $211 million out of the mental 
a health budget in Texas, yes or no? No, I don't know if he did or not, did he? He did. So, if you, so you just agreed, David. You just agreed. David, I'm going to let you talk. You just agreed with Greg Abbott that mental illness is the problem. Yeah. So if mental yeah. illness is the problem, why did the Republican governor cut the funding and did you criticize his cutting of the funding? Now you can talk. Okay. This thing in Texas and Greg Abbott cutting the funding for the mental illness, it's definitely a mental illness because... These guns are not killing. It's the people that get the guns. Greg, so if, David, wait, do you disagree with Republican I, I, Greg Abbott cutting I, the I funding? Disagree. I, I disagree with the fact that you're not allowing me to explain myself. That's what I disagree David, with. David, you just yeah. said cutting the funding of mental illness is a problem. It, do you it, disagree with Republican I, Greg I, Abbott I, cutting the funding? I, I, this is what I disagree with. If he cut that funding, that funding is needed to help the mental aspects of people that are purchasing the weapons. So if you believe it's needed, where is your statement? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where's your statement criticizing Greg Abbott for cutting the funding? Where is it? I'm, I'm, I'm criticizing you because you're a race beta who always continue. Oh, so you're not criticizing the person who cut the funding. You're just criticizing the concept of cutting the funding. I'm criticizing you right now, brother. Uh, David, David, I'm going to ask you again. Do, and I'm, and I'm, David, you, why won't you criticize the Republican governor who cut $211 million oh, from mental illness? Opposed to us looking for issues to help the black community, all you do is get on this show. You're a liar. That the left You're a liar. They, again, here's what I don't understand. See, if you say they fly... See, David, if you say they fly from the same bird, you would have the guts, you would have the courage, you would be a black man with conviction and say Texas Governor Greg Abbott is wrong for blaming mental illness and then turning around and cutting the money. But you won't do that because that's going to cut your Republican money. See, let, let me say this. If he cut the money because... Not like, if, he did. Wait a, minute, wait a minute, just like the liberals do. They say one thing and do something else. This bird has two wings, the left and the right. David! Bird. David! The thing of it is, is this. David, why? David, why won't you criticize the Republican governor for cutting the money? Criticize him. I called to talk about you. No, 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 no. See, David, here's the deal. Here's the deal, David. See, you thought... You, you thought, you, you thought I was going to go by your agenda. This is my show, player. And we're discussing, we're discussing the shooting in Texas. See, you wanted to bring us some other stuff. Let me go back to it, David. Do you believe it was wrong? Do you believe it was wrong, David, for Texas and other states to pass laws allowing for concealed handguns and people don't have to get a permit? I don't believe in that because I got a permit here in Illinois. You don't believe in what? So if you're going to get a gun, you need to go through the proper process. So that, so that means that means that you believe it. So you, David of Project 21, you believe that Alabama Governor Kay Ivey, you believe that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, and you believe that Texas Governor uh, uh, Greg Abbott, all Republicans, were wrong for supporting bills allowing people to carry concealed weapons without having to get a permit, Correct. What I believe is this. I believe that those governors are doing what the best they can. No, 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 David. You just said, wait a minute, David. You just said, wait a minute. I have a concealed permit in Illinois. I believe you must go through a process. So when I then turn around and tell you that Republican governors have supported bills allowing concealed handguns without a permit, now you, oh, they doing the best thing they could. David, no, is it the best thing? thing? David, Whatever. is it the David? David is real simple. Is it the best thing for people to carry concealed handguns without a permit? Yes or no? That, that was required for me, okay? That's what I'm saying. So whatever these states do for their states, that's what they do. But the real David, are you aware that homicides in Texas are up 90% oh, are since they... Aware? Are you aware, David? We're discussing Texas. Are you aware no. that the homicides in Texas are up 90% since they changed the gun laws? The statement that you made was racist. David, it, it, David, you're not it, answering my question, David. 
They were not answering my question. Are you aware, David, that Texas has had more mass shootings in the last few years than any other state? Are you aware of that? I am aware of that. Are you aware of the mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas, in El Paso, Texas, in Santa Fe? And after every one of those shootings, they did nothing. You want to sit here and you want to, as a, as a leftist, you want no, to... No, 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 David. David, yes, I am a registered voter in Texas. Are you? No, no, David, no, no, are you a registered voter in Texas? The real question... Are you a the, registered voter in Texas, yes or no? Can you... David, you, are you a registered voter in Texas, yes or no? About the black community. David, you are you a registered voter in Texas, yes or no? Are you a registered voter in Illinois? David, no, I'm not. And guess okay, what? David. And guess what, David? Guess what? I am a registered voter in Texas, Dallas County. Hold up, David, which means that I, as a native Texan and a registered voter and a homeowner, have the absolute right to call out Texas Republicans who have done nothing to keep Texans safe. To destroy this country, the left has implemented things and laws that we're seeing now. Really? Black people are not prospering. Uh, David, 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 we're discussing the mass shooting in Texas, and now you want to go on this tangent. And David, here's what I don't understand, David. Why is it? Why, David, why are you so scared? David, why are you so impotent? Why are you so uh, frail to criticize Republicans for passing gun laws and making it easier for people to get guns? The real deal is this. The left has already... Have always you, you, you still don't answer the question, David. Black, D- David, black, David, black, David, David, either we're going to discuss mass shootings in Texas uh, or... David, uh, uh, David, uh, we're not having a conversation uh, about uh, economics uh, in black communities. Mental issues, and it is not the guns that are killing. It's the sad people that get the guns that do the kill. Oh, I'm glad you said that. So since it's the sad people who get the guns and the Republican governor is cutting the mental health funding, David, this is real simple, David. David, this is real simple. David, you can sit there. David. David, it's, it's, David, are you going to stay on? are you going to stay on the topic or are you going to try to come up with some other stuff? But, but you laid a foundation. David, you did, you're not on the topic, David. So the thing of it is, is this. As long as the American people do not come up with a system to weed out those that have mental issues... Wait a minute, David. You can't weed it out if you cut the money. To weed, to, to weed out those who have mental issues, it is not the guns. The Second Amendment should not be infringed upon. And the American people and patriots across this country need to stand strong together because people like Roland Martin are divisive. (laughs) (laughs) Here's here's what I find to be funny. No, see, divisive, see, divisive is when you're so weak that you are unwilling, when you're so weak, you're unwilling to criticize a Republican who doing what was wrong. David, you know, David, because, David, admit it. You're critic. impotent. I am the biggest the, critic. All of the money that you get from Project 21 comes from the right. David, the big, you won't even okay. answer the question. And the thing of it is, it's just right. David, let me ask you a question. David, David, after black, after, after black people were killed, see, since, since you, okay, how about this, David? Since you want to talk about black people, okay? No, 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 no. Since you want to talk about black people, let's go ahead and talk about black people. Okay? Yep. We about to roll up on the first anniversary oh, of 10 black folks killed. No, now, hold up, David. David. Nothing. David. We David. Nothing. We gonna discuss black people right now. Hold up, David. David, you just running, you just bumping your gums. We gonna discuss black people right now. Black people continue. Now, now here's what we gonna do. I'm gonna go to a break. I'm gonna go to a break, and I'm gonna come back in two minutes. So, David, we gonna come back, and we gonna discuss black people being shot. And I'm going to walk through something, and I can't wait to get your response to it. Hey, y'all, you watching Roland Martin Unfiltered on the Black Star Network. Network. David can keep yapping during the commercial break, but trust me, we're going to come back, and he's going to have to answer about Buffalo. We are five days away from uh, commemorating the one-year anniversary of uh, 10 black people who were gunned down at a supermarket uh, in Buffalo. Uh, and so uh, we are having, um, well, I won't call it a conversation, 
because uh, David Lowry refuses to answer any questions. He's a Project 21. So, David, let me ask you this question. Since you want to talk about black people, 10 black people were gunned down at a supermarket in Buffalo by a white supremacist. Um, shortly after that happened, the House passed a bill to fight domestic terrorism, uh, and, uh, and it, was, it was laid out. The vote was 222 to 203. Go to my iPad, Henry. Uh, 222 to 203. Um, the, uh, the, the only Republican who voted for the bill was a guy from your state, former, now former Congressman Adam Kim, Kinzinger. Uh, all other di- uh, re- Republicans voted against this bill. David, I'm curious. Can you show me where you criticize and condemn Republicans for voting against a bill to fight white domestic terrorism after 10 black people were killed by a white supremacist in a Buffalo supermarket? Well, Roland, it's, it's kind of like the same situation. Can you answer the question? I, 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 Did giving, you look, look, look. criticize the Republicans for voting against it? It's a yes or no, David. Yes, listen, let me say this. It's kind of like the same way that all the left... Did you condemn Republicans for not standing up for black people, yes or no? Undemocratic voted... Okay, let me do this here. Henry, go to my iPad. David Lowry and... Let me just do this here. David Lowry and Buffalo shooting. So let's see. Let's see exactly what David Lowry had to say about the shooting in Buffalo. Huh. I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking. I didn't say ma- nothing ma- about the shooting in Buffalo. So hold up. Ten oh, black that? people, ten black people are gunned down by white supremacists and you said nothing? I wasn't asked to. If, oh, if, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. I'm so, sorry. You have to I, be... I, I, wait a minute, David. You have to be asked by white people uh, to comment no, no. on the death of black people? David, it, it, so wait a minute. When, it, when all Republicans except one voted against a bill against but, white but, domestic terrorism, you said nothing. What kind of black man are you that says nothing when your party votes against the killing of black people? Now, let me say this. No, 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 no. Did you say anything when your party would not vote for black people? Let me say this. At the time this shooting occurred... A year ago. A year ago. I wasn't even even with Project 21. It don't matter. Hold up. Who who are you with? Who are you with? Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm with my own foundation. Okay. So you couldn't say anything about it? Let me say, I didn't, I didn't get the media attention to say what I needed to say. Oh, about my that. God. Oh, hold up. There's a thing called Twitter. There's a thing called Instagram. There's a thing called Facebook. There's a thing called fan base and Tumblr and TikTok and YouTube and Snapchat. Oh, I'm not getting the media attention. Let me finish. Let me, let me finish. I posted what I posted on Facebook with my show, Let the Truth Be Told on TZ. About TV. what? About the shooting. The shooting was wrong. Any shooting is wrong. David, I asked you a question. 203 Republicans voted against the bill. No, David. Okay, since you had a show. David, on your show, on your show, did you ever blast Republicans for voting against this bill? Yes, I blast Republicans. I blast... No, 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 no. On this bill. Either side. On this bill, David. We're rolling, rolling. David, answer this. my question, David. Our on this bill, your... did you criticize Republicans on I this bill? I criticized. Huh? I criticized for that bill. Where is I criticized it? Hold on, hold on. Bill. Where's the proof? Blacks are being killed stop, in Chicago. Stop. Where's the proof? Stop, hell the no. Where's the proof? We have the blacks being killed. David, where did you criticize them? Nobody gets the bill. David, where did stop. you criticize them, David? I criticize anybody. David, that where somebody. did you criticize no, the Republicans who voted the, days the, after the Buffalo the, shooting? Where? Hey, hold up. You, Y'all do me a favor. Go to hold, control room. Now, nah, David, hold on. Control room. Control room. Go to David's Facebook page 
and I want y'all to go back. I want y'all to go back to May 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th, and I want y'all to find me the video where David condemned Republicans. Hold up, David. Hey, hold, hey David. 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 Black, 10 black folks are gunned down, and they vote against it. I criticize you. I criticize. Oh, hey, David. David, I supported the bill. Did you? Did you? Scrolling. Hey, David. Did you support this bill? This, this, this thing. David, this thing that did you support this bill? Let me tell you. David, I support did you bill support this bill? Yes or no? That's the bill I support. Dave, which but one? This, this, this is the thing, Roland. David, did you we, support we this bill? You. We got to talk about you being a no, race No, see, see, here's the deal, David. See, here's the deal, David. See, 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 the fact of the matter is, you oh, you are absolutely one of those. I was with Project 21 last year, so I really couldn't say nothing. Bro, you weak. You're weak. You are a that's weak you. black man. You, you will not condemn the Republican Party. David, don't bring hey, David, hey, David, hey, David, hey, David, hey, David, brother. David, I can't, I can't give you a spine. They created welfare. Hey, David, I can't give you a spine. I can't give you any of that. So here's the whole deal, David. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you one more time, David. David, how about this here? I'm just going to ask you one more time, David. David, this is real simple. David. And David, black people do not wake up to this understand. This is really a waste of my time because you can't even up. answer the question. So, David Lowry, I appreciate you coming on from Chicago. I appreciate you, but I still want to know. Please, by all means, send my producer the proof of you condemning Republicans in Buffalo. You have a great day, and I hope you keep talking to yourself. All right, y'all, I'm going to go to a break. We're going to come back, talk to my panel. Um, here's the whole deal. This is real simple. If you can't even answer the question, I can't keep talking to you. If you can't answer the question, I can't keep talking to you. Y'all just sat there and saw it. He would not even answer the question. So you can't come over here and act like you John Shaft and you talking about how you stand up for black people when 203 Republicans voted against a bill in the aftermath of 10 black people being gunned down? If you can't stand up against domestic terrorism against black people, you can't stand up for a damn thing. And that, David, is why I ended our conversation. Because you are a black man with no spine. You are a black man with no integrity. You are a so-called black man who can't even defend black people in your own party. So no, I won't waste any more of my airtime talking to a damn fool. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. We talk about blackness and what happens in black culture. We're about covering these things that matter to us, uh, speaking to our issues and concerns. This is a genuine people-powered movement. There's a lot of stuff that we're not getting. You get it, and you spread the word. We wish to plead our own cause to long have others spoken for us. We cannot tell our own story if we can't pay for it. This is about uh, covering us. Invest in Black-owned media. Your dollars matter. We don't have to keep asking them to cover our stuff. So please support us in what we do, folks. We want to hit 2,000 people, $50 this month, raise $100,000. We're behind 100000 so we want to hit that. Y'all money makes this possible. Checks and money orders go to P.O. Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 20037 0196. The cash app is dollar sign RM Unfiltered. PayPal is R Martin Unfiltered. Venmo is RM Unfiltered. Zelle is rolling at rollingsmartin.com. 